Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have missed you all so much and I'm so excited to film this video for you. So as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a Poundland haul. If you do enjoy this video, please do not forget to click the like button. And also, hi, if you are new, my name is Sophie. Please subscribe if you do enjoy this video. I am not going to ramble in this intro at all. So we are just going to get straight into the video and I really hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so word of warning, there is a lot of food in this haul because if you don't know, I have started a new job and I did buy some food to like snack on while I'm at work to put in my desk. So the first thing I'm going to show you are these sun bites. You can see it is already opened because my sister, ow, my sister has had a few already. So um, I just got some sun bites, obviously only a pound, everything is a pound in this haul. And I just really, really like these. They are the sour cream and cracked black pepper. And they're just really lovely. So that's the first item. Next item I got were these, like, what's it called? Cravings Cocoa Rolls. I had never tried these before. And I just thought that they looked really lovely. I'm obsessed with coconut, for all of you that don't know. So anything coconut, I love. And they kind of, I don't know they just spoke to me so i'll pop those in i have tried them already they are delicious so if you do like coconut like me get yourself down to poundland because these are amazing and it's got like a cream filling it's so so nice so would highly recommend the next item i got were some drumstick chews these are so nice i love the strawberry and banana flavor again i love anything banana you guys know me and I just really like these. They're just really nice to just snack on. This is sounding like a very unhealthy haul. Um, I don't eat all of these at once, don't worry. I could if I wanted to though. I then got some cream soda because I have literally just got back from London about two days ago and we went to a lot of American style restaurants. I also did go to Hickory's in Worcester the other day which is again an American style restaurant and they have got me obsessed with cream soda. It was one of my obsessions when I was younger and I just completely forgot how good it was. So I saw these in Poundland and I was like I'm gonna pick me up some cream soda. Next items I got were some ibuprofen. You can't go wrong with ibuprofen. In Poundland they are uh, two, no, what's it? Uh, three for two. Why couldn't I figure that out? Um, I did originally only put one in, but they always try and sell you three. So I ended up coming out with three packets of ibuprofen because I suffer with headaches. I also got a pack of chewing gum. <laughs> this is just turning into just random bits and bobs. Sophie's random bits and bobs Poundland. Am I okay today? I don't think so. Next item I got was a um, kind of item of stationery, I think you'd call it. This actually sticks onto the fridge. It's got a magnet here and it's just a to-do list. And I thought it was such a good idea. I love to do to-do lists because it gets me motivated to complete everything that I have set myself to do that day. You get to tick it off as you go. There are tick boxes here. And I just thought it would push me to do everything that I need to do throughout the day. And you can obviously rip them off. Um, and there's like loads of pages. So you can do one for each day if you wanted to. But yeah, I just thought it was a really, really lovely idea. Because this month, my goal is to be motivated and organised. I'll let you know how it goes. And I did get a lot of toiletries from Poundland. So the next items I'm going to show you are a shampoo and conditioner. It's actually not what you would probably think it's going to be because if you are a regular subscriber, you'll know that I tend to get my banana conditioner and shampoo from Poundland. But they didn't have it this time. <sighs> I was so sad. But they did have strawberry. So this is the exact same brand that I normally do get from Poundland. It's the XHC. Axe Pearl Hair Care and I always think that the banana one smells amazing every time I go in there I pick one up but obviously they didn't have it this time so I thought I would smell this one so it is strawberry oh my life it smells so amazing like so amazing obviously not as good as my banana because I am obsessed with banana but these are so lovely they smell amazing and I have a feeling that they are gonna be exactly the same as the banana like formula so I should get on well with these 
I always get compliments on how my hair smells whenever I wear that shampoo and conditioner, so I'll let you know how the strawberry one goes down as well. Next item I got was some baby oil. You can see that I have already used some of it because I wanted to try out the theory of um, if you put baby oil on your fake tan, then it takes it off easier. I did try it last night. I wasn't I wasn't too sure. I don't know if I left it on long enough. I don't actually know how long you're meant to leave it on before you um, like scrub off your fake tan. But it made it slightly easier. I did see that my like fake tan exfoliating mitt was a lot darker than it normally is. So I don't know if that was down to this, but that's purely the only reason I got this baby oil, just to take off my fake tan. I then got a um, body wash. I love this body wash. It's the Nivea Shower Cream in Rose scent. Oh, it's just so nice. It feels really nice on the skin. It just smells amazing. I just love it. So yeah, would highly recommend that as well. I then got a hand sanitizer because when I was in London, I was on the tube quite a lot and I'm one of those people that gets a bit funny about touching like handles and stuff and I did start to feel really ill in London as well. I got quite a bad cold and I don't know if that was down to the fact that I was touching things and like... I don't know. It made me a bit funny, so I may be weird, but you know, just roll with it. So I've got hand sanitizer. Um, it's literally just an original anti back hand gel. It says floral and fruity. It don't smell floral and fruity to me, but I don't really care. Like I just wanted like a standard um, anti back hand gel. So, and it's pink. <laughs> always a bonus. The next item I got was a body spray. I saw this and I think you guys are going to agree with me, it looks like the Victoria's Secret one. So we've got a few dupes coming out here. This is the Sweet Devotion. It says apple blossom, ylang ylang, ylang ylang, is that how you say it? And a ylang ylang. Um, it really really smells lovely. Oh, it's just really fresh, really like, just floral and fruity, really nice. So I like it. And like, I definitely think if you're like using stuff like this for work or just like on a daily basis, a pound is not bad for that at all. I then got a fragrance mist. I don't know if this means that it's a body spray or if it's a room spray, I'm not really sure. But this reminded me of Jo Malone. So we've got, we've got a, quite a few dupes here. Um, this is pink floral. They did have loads of other scents, but I just prefer this one the most. It smells like um, rose. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, that is really like fresh. It's just such a fresh smell. And like, I love those days where I really fancy a fresh smell. And it just, oh, feels like it opens my airways. Am I weird? And then the last item I got was like a mini candle. So this was down the cleaning aisle. It's the Airwick White Vanilla Bean. And oh my God. I have never smelled an Airwick candle like that before. Just smells amazing. Love it. So that is the end of the Poundland haul, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to click the like button and also subscribe to my channel. I really hope that you've had an amazing week and I will see you in the next video Wednesday at 6. Bye!